Hi everyone. Today let us study measurements of temperature and conversion. First let us define temperature. Temperature is the degree or intensity of heat in a substance or object. Let's go now to the measurements of temperature. The first one is Celsius, symbolized by capital C. Second is the Fahrenheit, with F as its symbol. And Kelvin, with capital K as the symbol. Let's go to some facts that we know. The water boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius. Your normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. The freezing point of water is 0 degrees Celsius. Let's go to conversion of Fahrenheit to Celsius and vice versa. To convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, the formula is capital C, that's the Celsius, equals the fraction 5 over 9 multiplied to the quantity F minus 32. And this F is the Fahrenheit. To convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, the formula is capital F equals 9 over 5 multiplied to C and then plus the quantity 32. Let's see some problems. Example 1, convert 50 degree Fahrenheit to Celsius. The solution is, we know our formula C is equal to 5 over 9 times the quantity F minus 32. We simply plug in that value 50 to the F and then this 50 minus 32, we're going to simplify. It becomes 18. Then we can cancel 18 and 9. 9 becomes 1, 18 becomes 2. So now we have 5 times 2 equals 10 or 10 degree Celsius. So it means the 50 degree Fahrenheit here is equal to the 10 degree Celsius. Let's see example 2. The weather forecast today is 20 degree Celsius. Convert the temperature into Fahrenheit. So our formula is the F is equal to the 9 over 5 times C then plus 32. We substitute the value 20 for the C and then we can cancel this 20 and 5. So 5 becomes 1 and the 20 becomes 4. Then we have 9 times 4 equals 36. Then the plus 32 which just copy down here. So now we have 36 plus 32 equals 68. And then we write the final answer, 68 degree Fahrenheit. So it means the 20 degree Celsius here is equal to 68 degree Fahrenheit. Let's go now to the conversion of Celsius to Kelvin and vice versa. To convert Celsius to Kelvin, the formula is K or Kelvin equals C plus 273. To convert Kelvin to Celsius, the formula is C is equal to K minus the constant 273. Let's see some examples. Convert 20 degree Celsius to Kelvin. So we have an easy formula, K is equal to C plus 273. 
then we substitute the 20 to the C, then we get the sum, 293. So the final answer, 293 Kelvin. So 20 degrees Celsius equals 293 Kelvin. Example 2. A hot metal has temperature of 5,763 Kelvin. Convert the temperature to Celsius. Our solution, C is equal to K minus 273. We substitute that value to the K. Then we subtract with the constant 273. So the final answer is 5,490. So this is the difference. And the final answer, we put now the symbol for the Celsius. So the final answer is 5,490 degree Celsius. So 5,763 Kelvin is equal to this 5,490 degree Celsius. Let's go now to the conversion of Fahrenheit to Kelvin and vice versa. To convert Fahrenheit to Kelvin, the formula is capital K equals the fraction 5 over 9 multiplied to the quantity F minus 32. Then after simplifying, we will add to 273. Now, to convert Kelvin to Fahrenheit, the formula is capital F equals the fraction 9 over 5 multiplied to the quantity K minus 273. After simplifying the first group here, we will add to the constant 32. Let's see some examples. Example 1. Convert 50 degree Fahrenheit to Kelvin. Our solution, we have a big formula here. So then I'm going to substitute the 50 to that F variable. After substitution, I'm going to simplify this 50 minus 32. It becomes 18. After that, I will now cancel this 18 and the 9. I will get 2. And then I'm going to multiply the 5 and 2 becomes 10. So it's now written here. Plus the 273. So the answer is 283. The final answer is 283 Kelvin. Example 2. The surface temperature of the sun is about 5,763 Kelvin. What is this temperature on Fahrenheit scale? We have our big formula here. Then I'm going to substitute the value 5,763 to this K variable here. So it's now change. Then after that, I'm going to simplify the difference. So in the grouping symbol, it will be simplified into the value 5,490. Then I can cancel this value with a 5. It becomes 1,098. Then to be multiplied by the number 9 outside. So it becomes 9,882 and then plus that constant 32 is again copied here. So we get the sum and the answer is 9,914. And the final answer is 9,914 degree Fahrenheit. It means this Kelvin 5,763 is equal to 
9,914 degree Fahrenheit. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.